All right, folks, we might have a rant tonight. I'll see how this video goes, but we might have a rant because I am starting to get really ticked off. I know that it's ridiculous for me to be more upset about this loss than it is to split a series with the Oakland A's, including one game where you get shut out and another game where you only score one run. It's the continuation. That's what's annoying me right now is how this team has gone from world beaters to completely mediocre in the span of just a couple weeks. Ever since the Cleveland loss on April 14th, that heartbreaking loss that we had, since that day, we have been 5-6. and six. We started off 12-4. and four. We're now 17-10. and 10. And we're tied in the American League East lead because somehow we should have lost the lead tonight. But the A's gave us a gift. A gift tonight. They come back and beat the Orioles. And so now we have a chance to take a one-game lead. And we can't close the deal. We can't close the deal tonight. This team blew every chance tonight. They had so many opportunities to win this game, and they just couldn't do it. What a waste of Trent Grisham's first hit as a Yankee. Home run. What a waste of another Juan Soto home run. What a waste of an Alex Verdugo home run. Because you had problems like Luis Hill getting up too many meatballs. You had the top of the lineup collapse tonight with the exception of Soto. If we didn't have Soto, this team would be 10-17. and 17. This team would be crap without him. And yet, this man, it's the opposite of Judge last year. Last year, Judge without him, he was terrible. This year without Soto, we're terrible. We finally get Judge another bat, and now he can't hit it all. Batting 178. I was starting to get excited. Back-to-back -back bad days from him. Back-to-back 0 -back for days from him. First inning sums up this Yankee season perfectly. Volby ground out, Soto home run, Judge strikeout, Rizzo strikeout. That's this entire season. That's this entire team right now. Yes, I know we're 17 to 10. Don't get at me in the comments. Oh, yo, we should be lucky that we, we should be very happy where we are. So I, I know that. And I keep trying to put that in perspective right now. But what the hell happened? What happened to turn this team from a juggernaut to average? What happened to this team that now that all that kept having rallies and kept hitting and swept the Astros, although maybe the Astros aren't that good, and won two out of three against Arizona, won two out of three against Toronto. What happened to that team? And won two out of three against the Guardians. What happened to that team? Why is this team now going to Toronto and lost two out of three? Why did they split against the A's? Why did they lose the first game against Milwaukee? Why are they having trouble hitting? Why is it that if it's not for Soto, we struggle? Why is it that Michael Tonkin is the guy who's closing it out for us instead of Clay Holmes? Clay Holmes comes, I'm jumping all over the place here, but who gives a sh Sorry to curse, but I, apologies. I, I, ah! I'm so mad right now. You have Clay Holmes come in and pitch lights out like he's done all season. And you decide to put Tonkin in, make his Yankee debut in a high leverage situation. Folks, this is Michael Tonkin's third team this month. Not year, month. He has been on three teams this month, and one team he was on twice. And the Yankees are like, sure, we got to put him in there. Can't put Hamilton in there. We had to go to Tonkin. I, I cannot wait to hear Aaron Boone's explanation at, at the end of this game. I don't think there is one. He'll just do something. Well, the analytics told me that we have to blah, 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 blah. Just say that, yeah, the, the, the usual garbage that he utters. And what's with the bad base running, too? Jones at the end there? Why are you running in such weak contact? Stay at third! This is the kind of stupid decisions that got the Yankees in trouble all of last year. And now it's coming back to bite them again. This is the kind of thing that we were, that, that was just killed us over and over and over again last season. And here in this game, we saw it with Jones. I mean, you just stay at third and you're fine. But no, no, you, you, you just got to run. It was right back to the mound. Stay at third. <sighs> Waste of him. We should have been a win here. On a night where Stanton gets a pitch head RBI single. He never does that. Stanton bats like, Stanton is like one for 97. Batting, uh, pinch hitting. I have a better batting average pinch hitting than Stanton does. And finally he comes through for us on the top of the 10. Finally he gets an RBI single. 
Finally, he comes through and gives us the lead. And we still can't get it done. Because we had to let Michael freaking Tuckin, who's going to be, you know, selling, flipping burgers next week. We had to let him start for us. We had to let him come through and close the deal. What are we doing? What is up with us right now? You have Joey Ortiz hitting home runs early. Blake Perkins. And the Grisha home run, I was like, wow, we're actually going to pull this off. Hanging in there. Heel, unfortunately, made too many mistakes in this game. Nacho comes in and gives up the game-tying run. We had chances here. But Judge in the top of the eighth, grounding into a double play. Just seems like every at-bat is either a double play or a strikeout. It's every at-bat for him. And you have Verdugo getting thrown out at, at second. Trying to get in the score position. He gets thrown out. You have Clay... Pitch amazing in the ninth inning just to say, no, we want Tonkin. And you have Stanton getting the RBI single, and we waste that. And we have Tonkin right in the 10th inning. He, 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 Trevino can't come up with the ball. He bobbles it. And then Adam single, singles in the tying run. Some I can't believe he stranded the runner at third. I was shocked he did that. And then the second and the 11th inning, we had that just stupid error at, at you know, stupid, idiotic, Based on error, I knew we weren't going to win the game because I knew there was no chance Tonkin was going to be able to pull that off for two innings. It's incomprehensible right now what has happened to this team. It's quite, it's quite frustrating, it's disappointing, and it's sad. And to see another bad night from the offense, Soto with the exception. You see, like, you know, Oswaldo's cooling off, although he did get a hit tonight. But seeing Volpe have another 0 for 5 night. Seeing Judge and Rizzo be awful. Glaber, who is freaking useless. It, it, it really concerns you right now. And again, folks, we're tied up the A at least. We don't need to panic yet. But the frustration of what we've watched over the two, last two weeks has finally come crashing down on me. I fi I, I, I've been patient. I didn't want to rant early. But it, it, it's just been enough crushing losses. And, and this is the exact same way we lost against the Guardians on um, two weeks ago. The exact same way. We take the lead in the 10th and the, the, the other team comes back. We've now lost three extra inning games in a row. Guardians raise and now this. You have reason to be concerned, especially with Judge. This is a huge issue right now. He has to be hurt. But because it's the Yankees training staff, they probably diagnosed it. He probably needs his toe amputated, but they don't know. These guys couldn't tell an obo from an elbow. Completely incompetent training staff. Completely incompetent medical staff. It's probably the man's probably hurt and he doesn't even know. Because they can't diagnose crap. Can't believe this. Really just stunned. But look, tomorrow we have Rodon on the mound. Let's try. I'm not gonna be the nihilist here. I'm not gonna be the nihilist. Yes, I'm upset right now. I'm frustrated. I'm disappointed. I'm upset. Let's turn this around. Tomorrow, let's turn this around. We have two more games in this series. We got Rodon and Stroman. Let's start hitting again. And Judge, figure out your crap. Figure out your issue here. Not doing any of us any favors. That's it for now, guys. I'll be back. Yankees, get some hits, please. Score more. I, I know it's weird to say six runs and score more than that, but you're going to have to score more. And and Boone, stop doing stupid things like putting Tonkin out there in a high leverage spot. What do you think was going to happen? Boone's probably like, yeah, you know, we would just felt like we had to give him a shot. And, you know, the, the analytics just told us to shut up. See you guys later.